it. But anyway, um, I was watching a uh, YouTube video on uh, Jinn possession. Not Dean. They don't call it, Muslims don't call it uh, Dean possession. They call it Jinn possession. And what was interesting in this video is that uh, the jinn that was supposedly, uh, or jinns actually, that were uh, possessing this girl, uh, were Christian. Christian jinn. Um, I don't know how Christian, though, because the, the jinn said that Jesus wasn't God, but uh, the Son of God. And then at the end of the video, after much, uh, uh, well, not much, but about 20 something minutes, uh, she becomes a Muslim. Uh, the the jinn in her become at least one of them. I don't know if all of them, but uh, one becomes a jinn. And anyway, the question I have is that. Well, actually, before I get to the question, I want to tell you something. Um, in Christianity, uh, demons supposedly can't say Jesus is Lord because they don't have the Holy Spirit. Uh, Paul in the Injil, New Testament, said that no one can say Jesus is Lord without the Holy Spirit. And uh, being that demons. Uh, Suppose you don't have the Holy Spirit. They they can't see Jesus as Lord. And uh, I remember a time where my um, dad was invited by this uh, village warlock, I guess you could say, <coughs> to uh, a witness um, a being, a spiritual being called the Counselor, talking through a girl who. Uh, it was in a trance, and it was talking to her, and it was talking about love and peace and Jesus and all that stuff. And my dad said, that sounds really nice, you know, but according to uh, the Holy Spirit, no one can say Jesus is Lord without the Holy Spirit. And if you're not a demon, I have a, if, if you are, I, I said, if, if you are not a demon, I have a feeling you'll be able to say Jesus is Lord. And, uh, and so if my dad asked this demon, or counselor, as it called itself, if it could say Jesus is Lord, and guess what? couldn't say it. Yeah. Oh, I could say he was Lord. I mean, if you asked who is Jesus, is Jesus, is Jesus Lord, it would say yes. And who is Lord, it would say Jesus. But it could never say the sentence, Jesus is Lord. Along with uh, in jail, I guess you could say what Paul said. And anyway, but I was watching this uh, Muslim video about a Muslim exorcist. And this quote Christian Jinn, um, although said uh, you know that Jesus was the Son of God, it never said Jesus is Lord. But I was wondering <laughs> if you have a Christian Jinn in you. I've got two questions for you. Can you say Jesus is Lord? And at this, and also, can you say that that Muhammad is more than one. You know what I mean? If you are a Christian Jinn, I'd like to see a video where you say both Jesus is Lord and Muhammad. No, it's not Muhammad, but Allah. No, excuse me. Yeah, Allah is more than one. Allah is, say, three or five or whatever. It's, just say, I believe, I, I testify that there's no Allah but Allah and Allah is three you know, or five or whatever you know it's, I have it this way I testified that there is only Allah and Allah is more than one being more than one God you know and at the same time say I yeah I believe Jesus is Lord you know can you say Jesus is Lord if you can say as a as a gene as a jinn possessed Muslim or whatever those uh, those things, that will be interesting. You know what I mean? So, again, if you are possessed with a Christian jinn, I want to hear that Christian jinn say, Jesus is Lord, and Allah is more than one. You know, I, I, pref I testify that Allah is more than one, and Jesus is Lord. Because that will, you know, that will let me know whether or not you are just fooling or something. Because if you're a Muslim, shirk is the worst of sins. You know what I mean? It's unpardonable. You cannot, you know, you cannot believe that Allah is more than one or you go to hell forever.
and if you're deemed possessed according to Christianity, you can't say Jesus is, Jesus is Lord. So one of those things will cancel it out here. Okay? So that's the, the little test I have here. Okay? Bye.